Maxine, no. Don't open it. It could be a bag. Uncle Ha. You shouldn't open the door. It could be a bad guy. Mm. You got me, Roti Prata. You are a good guy. No. This isn't good for Maxine. I love Roti Prata. Why is it called Roti Prata? Don't know. As long as it tastes good, they can call it anything they like. Maxine. Go back to your room. You're not eating this, and I'm still angry at you for opening the door. Go! Roti Prata, once in a while, is okay. Don't tell me what I can feed my daughter. And it's not her fault she opened the door. You should fix a latch up where she cannot reach. I can fix one for you later. You are not coming back here. You're so obvious. You're trying to find a way back into our lives. You're putting ideas into James's head about staying in Singapore. Just stop it and leave us alone. I can't leave you alone. Your ankle... My ankle is fine. Don't come back. What's wrong with you? You keep stuffing your face like that and you won't be able to fit into anything at the gown fitting later. Can't make it anyway, I'm taking leave. What for? I have something to do. Like? Something important. <sighs> Fine, don't tell me. Something bothering her? Probably woke up on the wrong side of bed. Don't let her affect you. So you're spending a day with Matthew? What are you guys doing? I already told you, I don't know. Why do you keep asking? Are you worried about Matthew and me? No. After everything we've been through, you don't trust me. I do. Of course I do. Sorry. I'm sorry. This morning is just going all wrong. I, I shouldn't have lashed out at you. You have every right to. Aren't you going to be late for work? No, I'm going to leave too. What for? Hey, how come you so free? We had to push back to this meeting because they say you're busy. Plans changed. You want to look after Emily and Maxine? Or you only run your business? It's just one bloody meeting. Why are you kicking up such a big fuss? Because you're being stupid! Mrs. Shelley and her daughter don't need you. But you're risking all our hard work for the company for nothing. It's not for nothing. Maxine is everything. So, how's the Misoto? Excellent as usual. Do you want to join me? Um. Maybe for a while. <laughs> How's Khalid doing? Back to his usual self. Um, he was somewhere around here just a minute ago. Khalid, where do you go? This uncle from the hospital made this for me. <laughs> it can fly really far. Do you have more paper? I can make an even better one for you. I'll go get it. He likes you. Well, I've got paper aeroplane skills. <laughs> you can still remember how to make them. Um, it must have been a long time ago since you made one. Actually, I just made one this morning. I mean, what do you think I do with budget reports that I don't approve of? <laughs> Jessica! So good to see you. How are you? How has it been in here? It's bearable when I have visitors. The other day was Arisa. Today it's you. Arisa? Really? That nurse? What did she want? She was just visiting Jessica. I missed you so much. I thought you weren't coming to visit me. I wanted to see you, Richard. I really did. But I was scared and ashamed. 
Wow, you look so nice. Where's Zarif taking you for lunch? He didn't say it. But are you sure you can manage? Go. Go and enjoy your lunch. You need a break. Hey, are you ready? What time is the reservation? Sayang? Actually, I think we should have lunch here. Why? We have to keep an eye on them. Louis, Shelley and Kat Rose. We have to make sure he isn't up to anything. I don't even know where to start apologizing. You don't have to. All I ever wanted was to see you again. I really wanted to see you too, Richard. There hasn't been a day when I haven't thought about us. But if I had come to see you, I would have probably broken down. I think about us all the time too. I'm glad I finally summoned up the courage to come. I've missed you, Richard. I promise. As soon as they let you go, we'll start afresh. I promise. Hey, um, where are we meeting? I'll send you the location. Um, wear comfortable shoes. Are you sure you want to tell Ella everything? Yeah, it's now or never. I mean, we can't stay in limbo forever, right? Right. But I, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Good luck. Thanks. The mee soto is nice, isn't it? Can I always try a new recipe? Why? What do you mean, why? Is it because Luis asked her to? That must be it, right? He probably said he wanted me soto and asked Kat Rose to try something different. Just another excuse to get close to her. That's it. We hardly have time for lunch. But you spend the whole time talking about Luis and Kat Rose. Kat Rose, Kat Rose, Kat Rose. And you're jealous? What's wrong with you, Dr. Shen? Like I told him, I've got no feelings for Kat Rose. I'm just worried about her. I'd be worried for any woman Louis has his eye on. I never said I was jealous. Where did you get it from? This is it. Yep. Nice. It's Ulu. Oh. We're spending the whole afternoon here. We're having a picnic. A bit dirty, right? Uh, not after we're done with it. We are going to clean the beach. Oh, we're joining some beach cleanup event. Where are the others? It's just us. You were wrong. Suggested that I should do some charity work, right? Doesn't mean it has to be official, does it? Fine. But if you want your picnic, you better hurry up and clear a nice spot, or else you're not going to get to eat. And if I pick up more rubbish than you, I get to eat your share too. <laughs> you're on. Table 12. Eh, where's the sambal? The customer wanted extra sambal. Oh, sorry. Still thinking about your hot lunch date with Zarif, is it? He was so weird. Zarif kept talking about Louise and Rustani, and then he accused me of being jealous. Were you? Of course not. Zarif and Ka, why should I be jealous? When I first started working here, I thought there was something between Zarif and Rose. They were always together, laughing, talking. <laughs> they were? But it's nothing. They're just like that. They just really get along. You 
you hear from Marissa? No. What about Marissa? She didn't come in for her shift, and she didn't tell anyone she wasn't coming in. It's not like her. Do you try calling? Not contactable. Must be some family emergency. This is nice. When you said we had to leave for a while, I didn't think we'd be having lunch again time soon. I've missed you. I missed you too. I've just been having a hard time. Is it you? Actually, it's nothing to do with you. Just me. What's wrong? Are you okay? Are you sick? Maybe. Maybe I'm sick in the head. You, sick in the head. That must be the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <clears throat> yes, did it. Where's the food? Yeah. Here. What are you doing? Your necklace. Did you drop it in the trash bag? Oh, relax. I don't worry anymore. Well, come to think of it, I haven't seen you wear it in a long time. Why not? I just don't. Oh. I'm sorry, it's just sandwiches. Not like the usual buffet you get after doing your publicity cleanups. Mm, this is better. It's nice to just do something because you want to, not because of some PR crap. Jen and I came here once. We were just throwing stones and letting it all out. And then he told me how I saved him at the beach. A long time ago, when we were kids. I've heard that before. What did he say? The same thing as what he told you, I guess. That's the thing you should. He never tells anyone everything. I just have a feeling there's more to it and he's not telling me. I just wish people around me would just stop telling me half-truths and just be totally honest with me. It can't be that hard. I'm sorry. Sorry for all the half-truths that I told you. Sorry about Stephen. And about Shen too. One sorry is not gonna make up for it. Thank you for being honest with me. At least I know why you did what you did. I told you I wasn't going for the fitting. No, I'm not gonna tell you where I am. Hello? Just because Shelly drives me crazy. I know I can make you feel better. Come on. Why are we here? We got more litter. When a plane comes along, I want you to scream as loud as you can. Louder than the plane. Hey, you make you feel better. It will make me feel crazy. Just try it. Hurry, there's a plane coming. Ah! Try it. Ah! <laughs> I told you you'll feel better. So, when is the next plane coming? Why is it so hard to believe that I was sick in the head? You're Dr. Shen. So? That doesn't make me immune. You're probably just stressed from helping everyone around you. You can't possibly be depressed or psycho or schizo. Why not? There are valid medical conditions that could happen to anyone. I know. When I was depressed, I went to see a psychiatrist. But I got over it. You're much better than that. You don't just get over a medical condition. 
It's not a phase that you can just snap out of using sheer willpower. Why are you getting so angry with me? Forget it. Today. I'm sorry, Maxine. I don't think I can go to the playground. I'm the best catcher. Please, Mommy. Maybe tomorrow? Everyone is going today. I can barely move. Why don't you stay here? I will ask Uncle Hope to bring me. No, I'll take you. Let's go. Yay! <sighs> Come, let's go. Mm. My uncle, you cook so much again today, how to finish? Ah, yeah, I can keep. Where? The fish is going to explode already. Ah, there. Ella is here. Luckily, I cooked enough. Come sit down. Good one. Hey, how come so free today? My meeting in the early. Hey, Sarah. James? Hawk, any news about Ella? Oh, I haven't seen her for a few days already. Don't know what's going on with her. No, you were right. We have to stay in Singapore for Ella. I think she really connected with Maxine. Yes, that's a good move. Well, I'll finalize things here and I'll, uh, I'll fly back soon. Okay. Peter, James Shelley. We spoke about your services earlier. Yeah. Like, I need you to keep an eye on my sister, Ella. Yeah, I'll send you the details. I think it has something to do with the loan sharks. Remember that day? Ursula was trying to get them to leave. She must be hiding from them. Arisa has a family emergency. Don't you people have anything else to do? <coughs> I think I overdid the shouting. Why don't we go for some ice kacang? That will make your throat feel better. <laughs> sure. Hello? Yoke, I need to talk to you. It's an emergency. Okay, I'm coming home now. I'll talk to you then, okay? Wait for me. Shen. I have to go. You have to go. It's funny. Most women want to be with their boyfriends. They don't have to. No ice kacang for me. Are you really happy with Shen? What are you doing? Why are you dressed like that? You look a little crazy. The way you talk to Shen on the phone, you sound more like his mother. Nobody asked for your opinion. Do you love him? Or are you just going through this relationship because it's what Jessica Shelley wants? Matthew, I am marrying Shen. That's all you need to know. Did today mean anything to you? Do I mean anything to you? Did you not understand what I told you this morning? I promised to bring Maxine spaghetti bolognese. Uncle Ho! Hey. My spaghetti! Mm. Can you eat with us? 
No, Uncle Hock is busy and has to go. Wait, 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 wait. What? Uh, Maxine, roti prata is called roti prata because roti means bread and prata means flat in Hindi. Oh, cool. And do you want to know why spaghetti bolognese is called spaghetti bolognese? No, but can you tell me why is the sky blue? Can Uncle Hock find out and tell me? And tell her the truth. She'll think I'm crazy and she won't want to be with me. Yang, we can't let her keep thinking you are Shen. Shen. I never thought I could fall in love with anyone and at last in love with Shen. She thinks he's strong, steady. If only she knew the truth. I'm the one who's strong, not Shen! He's so weak, he tried to kill us at the beach. Shen tried to kill you? What? Why? I don't want to talk about it. Yang, we had two options. To tell Ella the truth or to leave her. You can't tell her the truth, so are you going to leave her? Shen, Yo is a rising star. She has an image to uphold. You have to keep up with her. This tardiness is not acceptable. Yes, you've told me that before. Well, I wouldn't have to repeat myself if you were listening. Sorry, won't happen again. Look, I have arranged for a dance lesson for you and Yok tonight. The two of you will be kicking off the first dance at the year-end party. This is a very important Shelley tradition. Make sure you don't mess it up. <laughs> 